Hey there people, Metalis here, and welcome to another Let's Play series, Grand Theft Auto 3! I love this game. This game, I, I I played so much as a kid. In fact, I remember when I first got it for the PlayStation 2, I seriously would play this game for like 8 hours a day for like a week straight. It, I, I was so hooked to this game, and I... Uh, I eventually ended up getting it on PC as well, and uh, I played it again. And I I'll tell you, man, I was scared to drive after playing this game as long as I did. I seriously, man, like I'd almost like like you you get it, you, you when you when you're playing the game for so long and you're you know you you do things that you would no normally would never think to do while driving in real life. Like I'd had the urge to want to go run people over, you know. <laughs> so yeah, like. That's how much I played the game. So I'm going to start this game off right now. Um, and we're going to start the game. Okay, let's just leave it at that. video looks very, I don't know. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. <laughs> You're just small time. City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. to the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is Radio Media Station. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and check the video here real quick to make sure that the, uh, the cutscenes came out okay because they looked really screwy on my end. So uh, we'll be right back. All right. Yeah, the cutscene came in a little, um, actually pretty jerky. So I, I don't know what I can do to fix that. We'll figure something out. So uh, we're making our way over to a hideout right now. God damn! I gotta. You know what? Hold on. I gotta fix. More. I gotta fix my controls here. One second. Like a kitten, have 
have one delivered. Just this is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yep. You save there. Your game will advance six hours. Put your card in the garage. It saves it. Pretty. I know this guy. Easy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back, so I can probably do that work. So we're making our way over to Luigi's. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Yeah, one thing to note, the character we play as, his name is Claude, I believe. God, what this fit? Okay, hold on, I gotta fix this uh, audio, or video here. One second, guys. Okay, I just turned on the uh, frame scene here, so hopefully the uh, cutscenes will look a little better here. Alright, looks like we're going that way then. Jesus. Make my bitch up. <laughs> Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys have been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult.
Ah, uh, fuck it. I was gonna say no witnesses, but God, I don't know. I'm just really sucking with this game. So, uh, yeah, this guy, his name is Claude, and uh, he won't. He doesn't talk at all in this game. So, it's interesting that they cho uh, chose really not to give this guy any personality. He pretty much is a uh, an errand boy for everybody. So, what's his rally about? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about Elmo Swan. Watch it. Don't say. Not my test. Not while I have a flesh in my body and blood in my So, we're heading over to the uh, paint and spray because we got to uh, prepare this vehicle. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more easy to leave. I got a... Okay. Giving what back, Jeff? Belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion, really, I do, but what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people... Oh, that was close. Almost damaged the car. Chance to make a difference. Bring your foot. Something shows you can't help you. And more than a chance to walk together for just bring your kids. They can paint signs, believe up a face painter, and a big hey, look, but don't touch. Easy peasy. Okay, um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna head over to the uh, hideout and save my game here real quick. Yeah, dude, I used to have the, the layout of the city memorized, but it's been such a long time since I played it. I kind of need to like learn it all over again. I don't think I can use this car or put this car in my garage. It's too big, so we'll just drop it off here. right there. <laughs> I got a bonus for that. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh yeah, these um, these posters are kind of amusing. Bad fellas, up a dark alley, dirty habits. Come on, just be more true. I don't know. I can't read the other shit. On a combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. You want some action from his regular girl, Misty? Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Like I said, you're pretty much everybody's errand boy. Alright, so we need to get a vehicle that's more suitable for picking up women. There we go, a taxi. Perfect. Or... Scrap something, Jesus. Is anything better than an ambulance? My favorite car in this game is actually the FBI, uh... I forget what they call it, the FBI something. It's basically like a black four-door car. <laughs> the car's all fucked up. Man, I really 
wish I had an mouse look. It would make this game so much easier to play. There's like a mod or something I can get to unlock that. Cutscenes look a lot better now. I turn on frame Joey! limiter. Am I gonna get to play with your big ends again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? All right, this looks like a good place to stop for today. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am playing it. And we'll see you on the next one.